city buses, airports, and airplanes looked a lot different today. What's missing? Masks. The Guilford, excuse me, the Greensboro Transit Agency announced today masks on city buses are optional effective immediately. Yeah, this is the latest agency to pull back the COVID rules as hospitalization numbers remain low. And tonight, Fox 8's Jordan Brown has a look at how we got to this point. Well, guys, this is a look at where we are in Guilford County right now. As of today, there are 19 hospitalizations compared to exactly four months ago when there were 255 hospitalizations. But if you look at the daily confirmed cases over the last 30 days, you can see there's been a small spike here this month. And one health expert says that's to be expected as we continue to slowly go back to our pre-pandemic days. Any mask is better than no mask, and we do encourage um, all Americans to wear a well-fitting mask to protect themselves and prevent the spread of COVID-19, um, and that recommendation is not going to change. We've come a long way from January of this year when masking was still required in most schools, businesses, and on public transportation. When asked about doing away with mask mandates back in February, Forsyth County Public Health Director Joshua Swift had this to say. With the metrics, you know, we don't expect like this cases to go up as soon as uh, mask mandates uh, go away uh, because we know that there will still one. There will still be people wearing masks. We still know we have a highly vaccinated population, uh, but, you know, we still encourage people, like you said, to take uh, those precautions. Uh, whatever feel whatever they feel is best for them. That was February 24th, not long after masks became optional in Forsyth and Guilford counties. One day later on the 25th, the CDC released new guidance saying they did not require masks on buses or vans operated by public or private school systems. Positive cases started to increase slightly after that announcement, but that was something Swift said we could expect. Probably realistically, we'll start to see a little bit of an uptick um, in cases, a little bit of an increase, but not really. Uh, we, we don't believe what we're seeing that there'll be any wave. It'll just be sort of a slight increase. Fast forward to last week, Swift said we may continue to see a slight uptick in cases in the coming weeks, but he doesn't foresee numbers getting severe enough to revert back to pandemic protocols. I don't think we're going to have anything like we're seeing in other states and cities uh, where they brought back uh, mask mandates. Now, just this afternoon, the DOJ announced they have plans to appeal the federal judge's ruling that drops the mask requirement for public transport if the CDC says that masks are still needed. Neil. All right, Jordan.